Why? 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 So, since I've made my last video, 400 plus more people just subscribed to my channel. I don't upload. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the support. I, I like your shirt. Looks it looks good. But um, I just figured this would be a wonderful opportunity for me to just talk about something else that has been driving me crazy. Because it's it's not just Halo doing the stupid right now. It's also Battlefield and Saints Row and a bunch of other games. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do in today's video is just have a conversation about the abysmal state of modern gaming. Because it's a, it's a joke. Modern gaming is a joke. And I feel like I have people to talk to about it now. So we're going to have a conversation. So buckle up. Don't text and drive, and um, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start this conversation off with something that should be of no surprise to any of you if you saw my last video. I love Halo. I grew up with Halo. Halo was my introduction into gaming. Split screen co-op Halo 3 is what brought me into the world of gaming. Halo Reach was the first game I was ever hyped for, as I said back in the video, right? I grew up with Halo. I was born in 99, which means Halo is just one of those franchises that started around the same time I did, right? I just, I love Halo. Halo is special to me. I have so many fond memories playing Firefight and custom games and Forge and Halo Reach on my Xbox 360. And I still have all of that stuff today. It all still works. My Xbox 360 still works and it's great. But um, you you can't do any of that right now in Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. A modern-day AAA Halo game launched without Forge, with broken custom games, no firefight, no split-screen, no bitches. Like, it pisses me off. And Halo is just one of so many other games that have just fallen into complete and utter pointless shit in recent years. It, it baffles me. I don't understand. So I'm not going to spend too much time harping on Halo Infinite because I feel like I said everything about that game that needs to be said in my previous video, but um, it's a joke. 343 Industries is a joke. There's something wrong at the core of that studio. You don't get six years and $500 million and give us poopy doo-doo shit like Halo Infinite. You just, you just don't. You don't get that. You don't get that privilege, 343. But Halo is just one of many, 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 many problems I have with the uh, modern sphere of AAA gaming as it stands right now. So let's shift our focus. I think a perfect example is the new Saints Row game. What happened? Why did Volition think that it would just be a smart idea to go kind of woke, Gen Z, stupid, freaking waffle? Oh no, we need to pay our rent humor with Saints fucking Row. The game where you could run around and beat people to death with a giant dildo baseball bat. Who greenlit and who playtested and who wrote the script for Saints Row? It's just, it's just bad. And it's not like bad, haha, -ha, funny bad. It's, it's just, just bad. bad. <laughs> And it, it blows my mind that a series as popular as Saints Row has just fallen into complete obscurity because developers say, but those were games for their time. We can't, we can't do that anymore. But there is a time and place for offensive humor and it is okay. And Saints Row, much like Grand Theft Auto, didn't just make fun of one group, it made fun of everybody and that's what made it funny that's what makes grand theft auto funny that's what makes saints row funny because saints row took that and just went over the top with it cracking so many stupid jokes saying so many stupid things and doing so many things that you just don't see anymore today because companies are just they're afraid that a couple people on the internet will get a little, little oh no they, they say a bad thing about a group that i might associate with who cares it's a game. And what about Battlefield 2042? Who at EA made the decision 
to, first of all, try and copy Battle Royale games. Let's be honest here. The specialists are in Battlefield 2042 because Battlefield 2042 was going to be a Battle Royale initially. It's not a surprise to me. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. Why did they just release Battlefield 2042 in the state it was in? It wasn't ready. It was buggy. Bullets didn't go where you freaking aimed them. Nothing worked. It wasn't fun. And they just went, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll release it. We'll fix it later. This fix it later mentality in video games needs to stop. In what other industry of entertainment or just industry in general can you order something and expect a functional product receive a broken, buggy mess that needs sometimes years of further development? Video games are the only thing that I can think of. Like, imagine if the new Batman movie came out and they didn't crop out all the blue screens or all the wires that people hang from or all the bloopers. What if they just, like, released the whole film reel without any edits? That wouldn't be okay. And it just, it baffles me that in this modern age of gaming, there are so many developers releasing broken, unfinished, buggy shit shows of games, and they're not in trouble. As much as I love the game now, No Man's Sky was not ready. Cyberpunk was not ready. Halo Infinite was not ready. Battlefield 2042 was not ready. Saints Row was not ready. And it just keeps happening over and over and over again. Broken, buggy, pile of shit games that have potential and sometimes are even under the same title as beloved franchises and they just come out incomplete, half-baked, not ready. What other industry does that happen in? I am so astronomically sick and tired of AAA developers releasing games that aren't ready and then they'll just fix them later. And why are major news publications like IGN and all these video game critics, why are they giving games like Saints Row 60s? The Metacritic critic score for Saints Row is astronomically higher than the actual user score. It's not okay. Game journalists are being paid out, in my opinion, to release articles for games, making them sound great, hyping us up, and then when the actual product comes out, we were lied to. It's not done. What other industry does this happen in? And the reason I'm talking about this just at all is because I love gaming. I grew up gaming. Gaming is my escape, much like TV, music, and movies are for other people. For me, it's gaming. Interactive media, having decisions that matter sometimes. Sometimes it's just shooting people and blowing shit up, right? I just love to game. And seeing gaming in this corporate monetized, monetized loot box battle pass state that it's in right now just breaks my heart. Because developers in 2009, 2010, 2011, and years earlier than that would make games because they wanted to. Halo 1 was made through nothing but blood, sweat, tears, and passion. And same with Halo 2 if you've looked into the development of that game. Good God, it's a, it's a miracle that Halo 2 turned out as good as it did. And it just it blows my mind that companies have started to seek greed and monetization over everything else when it comes to gaming because music and movies are still made with passion and art and games used to be made with passion and art and triple a game studios that actually still do that are a dime and a dozen we get companies like ea trying to tell us that single player games aren't good anymore and then they go out and announce Jedi Fallen Order 2 because Jedi Fallen Order 1, published by EA, might I add, was such a smash hit. I do like multiplayer gaming, but I am enjoying it very much less so as multiplayer casual games have just become ultra fucking competitive. Halo Infinite social playlists have some of the most egregious skill-based matchmaking that I just don't play Halo Infinite multiplayer. If I want to play a fun social Halo multiplayer, I'll hop on the MCC and I'll play Fiesta in Halo 2 or something like that. Something social, something not super sweaty. But with Halo Infinite, the social playlists have such strict skill-based matchmaking that it feels like you are playing a competitive match of a game. And single player games aren't dead because when a good single player game comes out, and when I mean good, I mean good story, good art direction, and no bugs, it does extraordinarily well. Look at Red Dead Redemption 2. Look at Marvel's Spider-Man. 
Look at Elden Ring, which came out this year. So single player games aren't dead. It's just that developers don't want to make them because they don't bring in piles and piles and piles of money like games where you can monetize every fucking little bit of the multiplayer. It pisses me off. I miss companies bringing us smash hits. I mean, in 2011, we got so many good games. In 2012, we got so many good games. In 2010, we got so many good games. 2007, so many good games. I mean, that era, in my opinion, is the golden age of gaming. And most, if not all of those games were solid single player games. But this ultra sweaty, hyper competitive landscape of gaming today is just not something I am interested in. And just because people like Dr. Disrespect and Tim the Tatman get hundreds of thousands of views playing Warzone doesn't mean every fucking gamer wants another battle royale. And I really could go on for hours just talking about the current state of modern gaming. The acceptance of buggy broken launches, the acceptance of free to play microtransaction ridden games, the acceptance of just mediocrity. It pisses me off. Gaming used to be something so special. Stories were told. Really captivating stories like The Last of Us, Halos 1 through 3, Halo Reach, and ODST as well. There used to be a precedent of when you buy a game, you get a finished product. And because developers can patch things over the internet now and send out day one patches, they never finish their games anymore. And I'm not a developer, and I understand that games are harder than ever to develop, but you also have the best technology in the world. Games look almost photorealistic now. Voice acting is at an all-time peak in terms of microphone quality. I mean, I'm just some dude recording a video in his apartment, and this microphone sounds pretty damn good to me, right? It just, it blows my mind that huge AAA companies with access to huge franchises and IPs and enormous, unfathomable budgets like with Halo Infinite can just fuck it up over and over and over again. Something needs to change. We should not become complacent with the current state of modern gaming because we can and we should speak with our wallets. So stop buying loot boxes, stop buying microtransactions, and stop letting these companies tell you what you want and tell them what you want. Because when companies actually fucking listen, like Rockstar Games with Red Dead Redemption 2, aside from the travesty that is Red Dead Online, and From Software with Elden Ring, you win, and you win big. So AAA developers, just fucking make good games again. And there are good ones that come out, but they are fucking rare. And so that's just all I have to say for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my points. Let me know if you're also sick and tired of the ultra competitive nature of online gaming. I just miss social gaming. But games today don't even have voice chat for the most part anymore. I mean, that is dead. And I just, I miss it. Gaming was so much more fun during the Xbox 360 era because everybody in a lobby of Halo Reach would have their headsets on and everybody would be talking and everybody would be having fun. And it's just not like that anymore. And when it comes to single player games, broken buggy messes are just, they're getting, it's getting tiring. It's hard for me to be excited about games that I'm even excited about anymore because I'm excited about Starfield, but the last game Bethesda made was Fallout 76. I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm, I'm skeptical. I hope it's good. It looks like the game that I've wanted from Bethesda. It looks like a lot of fun, but I'm just going to wait for honest reviews. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.